Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those? Who shit? Hello there, my little helpers. So nice of you to join me. You're right on time, too. Huh. As if we had a choice. We just want our paychecks. So, Nico, what exactly do we have to do to make this Hiyakiyaku happen? Also, to be clear, we actually have no idea what it even means. It might sound ominous, but to put it simply, the Hiyakiyaku is just a gathering of the yokai. Back in the day at yokai gatherings, once everyone had had plenty to drink, one by one they'd start soaring into the sky with their yokai powers. There were so many of them that their silhouettes would block out the moon. But now, the yokai memories that leak from the ley lines are weak. They are no longer able to fly. So I will be performing a convocation ritual for them, gathering all the wandering memories together in one place. When the time comes, they will gather in the sky above the Grand Narukami Shrine. Once their energy is spent, they will be satisfied and return to where they belong. All the preparations for the ritual have actually been made well in advance. Remember the incantation and the mention of Moonless Night that I added to our novel? Oh yeah! Something about reciting the secret spells of Lady Kitsune on a moonless night. That's the one. Actually, it's not a wish-granting incantation at all. It's a spell to help calm the ley line memories. When that time comes, let's all pitch in and help send them on their way. I will start the ritual preparations shortly, and at that time I need you to do two things. First, tell the Shrine Maidens to leave the mountain. During the Hyakyako, a whole swarm of yokai memories will be hanging around in the air above the Grand Narukami Shrine. Having the Shrine Maidens leave avoids the bothersome issue of someone potentially getting possessed. After that, I will commence the ritual, and the memories will begin to congregate. This will take some time. I need you at the foot of Mount Yogo during this part to keep an eye on nearby monster activity. The memories are normally dispersed and don't pose a threat. But when their energy is concentrated, it is likely to disturb the monsters. They may see this as an opportunity to try and make it up the mountain. I need you to fend them off so that that doesn't happen. Alright, got it. Then what? Hmm. Well, if at that point you felt like coming to the shrine and getting a close-up view of the yokai, I wouldn't say no. Okay, let's get going! Descend the mountain? Are those Lady Coochie's orders? Yep, Miko said the ritual she's gonna perform soon might pose a physical danger to you all. I see. I'll evacuate everyone right away. W what about you? We'll be taking care of a couple other things for her. And once we're done with that, we're gonna come back and do the ritual together. It seems like Lady Coochie places great trust in you. Lady Kuji's never allowed anyone else to be in her presence when she's conducted rituals like this in the past. Thank you for helping with the ritual, and good luck. Don't worry, we're much stronger than we look. Nico's about to start the ritual! Come on, let's go deal with the monsters down the mountain!
wind strike. Monsters look really riled up. Yep, yep. Let's get rid of them as fast as we can. Then we can get back in time to see the yokai. All right, here they come. Gather. One with nature. Chip. Shine down! The wind knows me. Solidify! One with nature. There is no escape. Gather. The wind knows me. There's so many of them! Come on, you can do it! Shine down! One with nature! Into the wind! Alright, that's the last of the monsters! How far along do you think the ritual is? Let's head back to the Grand Narukami Shrine and take a look! The memories of the yokai. They haven't been able to relax and soar through the air like this for a long time. Come with me. You all right, little one? You look a little nervous. It's just... Paimon's never seen anything like this before. Whoa, they've really blocked out the It does look a little intimidating, doesn't it? But I know them. They may be loud and brash at times, but they are good and brave souls. Even after losing their lives in a brutal war, they have never given in to grief or despair. Alas, their time is short. 
come to an end. <laughs> Since you're sorry to see them leave, why don't you do the recital along with me? Oh Hakushin, cause of this enchantment, in reverence I perform this rite. In reverence I perform this rite. To be a guiding light. Recite the secret spells of Lady Kitsune tonight, and our wishes will come true. <gasps> oh, Hakushin, cause of this enchantment. I perform this rite to be a guiding light. Your unrivaled power will be honored eternally. Kusai, you asked if I was doing well. Really, every day is a happy day for me. But watching you all leave now, I can't help but feel a little lonely. Mm. Just a little, of course. Hmm. Just as I thought, the ritual went very smoothly. Thank you both. Hmm? Oh. I'm great. But the look on your face just now... I'm fine, seriously. Really, I... No. Oh. Honestly, you two. Pico. Fine. Well, if you're dead set on doing something for me, you can treat me to a meal. Sure, no problem. A meal it is. Okay. Well, see you soon then. to a meal. The venue is Uyu Restaurant. Let's go! Narukami, please.
plate is unbearable. How is the next chapter of the miraculous adventures of the Traveler not released yet? It was quite a surprise when the moonless night finally came. Yeah, that huge black cloud over Mount Yogo that night. It just seemed to form out of nowhere. But then nothing happened after I made a wish using the method in that book. Yeah... I guess light novels are just fiction after all, huh? That night was definitely the nail in the coffin for the incantations from novels fad. Still, something tells me the miraculous adventures of the Traveler will remain an interesting series for a long time to come. Huh? Paimon can't see Miku anywhere! Guess she's not out here. Uh, maybe she went inside already! Let's head in and look for her! Ah, my little friends. There you are. Nico, what is this? You started eating without us? I did, yes. You're paying, after all. The thought of being able to eat the most expensive dishes and drink the finest sake, all for absolutely free? Oh, I just couldn't wait any longer. Ah, boss, see these two faces here? Remember them. They're the ones picking up the bill later. Alrighty. Uh... What's gotten into you? Come on, sit yourselves down. You have to try this fish. It's found exclusively in the waters around Seirai Island. They shipped it to Inazuma overnight, and it was still alive right up until I ordered it. Or maybe you'd rather try this? I know, I know. I normally can't bring myself to drink sake this expensive either. If you don't drink alcohol, that's fine too. There are all kinds of fruit juices covering the whole price spectrum. Uh, Nico! You are outrageous! Last time we were here working on a novel, all you ordered for us was the plainest kushikatsu! Hmm? Strange. I remember no such thing. Oh, so what? You did offer to treat me to a meal, didn't you? Anyway, I am something of a VIP, you know. Wouldn't you find it embarrassing to treat me anything short of lavishly? Miko, this meal is going to be super expensive! Aren't you afraid we won't be able to afford it? <laughs> oh, don't you worry about that. You can most definitely afford it. They're still printing your light novel by the batch, you know. You have quite the generous payment due. Uh, what? Aw, oh, darn it! She tricked us into this! Miko was after our Mora from the very beginning! <laughs> oh, the looks on your faces right now. Too perfect. <laughs> oh, by the way. Since nobody's wishes came true on the moonless night, novels with incantations are no longer in vogue. So you'll have to come up with something new for the next chapter of The Miraculous Adventures of the Traveler. The deadline is looming. I'm counting on you. Welcome to Uyu Restaurant. Please talk to me if you want to order. 